Hey, what's up Pokemon fans? Be here with the UntitledGameshow.com and every single week, me and Jem from the Game Says Repair is here to bring you guys another week of Win It Wednesday, where you guys will win legendary and shiny Pokemon for Pokemon X and Y's. So let's find out how you guys will win and what you guys need to do. So next time, peace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at all the awesome Pokemons you guys are winning on this week's Dark Edition of Win It Wednesday. Well, the Rise of Darkerai Pokemons are here and they can be yours. If you guys don't remember, the Rise of Dark Ride was a movie that came out a few years ago in Japan. It was called Dark Ride versus Diagla versus Palkia. And now I'm giving away all of these Pokemon. And Dark Ride is 6 IV and shiny and is pre trained with all the correct abilities and is even timid. This Dark Ride is the one to have. Of course, I did my own little tweak on the moveset. I like using Nasty Plot, so I know some people use some other stuff, but that's what I prefer to have on Darkrai. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, the Diagola is not shiny, but this Diagola is very important. It's a telepathy Diagola in a Dream Ball. What does this mean? The, the Diagola has the hidden ability Telepathy. In a double or triple battle, if another Pokemon on your team uses Earthquake, Surf, or any other attack that would normally damage your teammate, Diagola, by having Telepathy, makes it immune to this damage. So Diagola cannot get damaged by their own teammate. So what you guys need to do if you have Diagola on your team, put yourself next to a Pokemon that knows Earthquake, put yourself next to a Pokemon that knows Surf, and bam, Diagola takes no damage whatsoever with able to withstand that, giving you a free attack on both of your opponent's Pokemon. It's an absolutely great Pokemon to use in, well, multi-battles if you're playing with a friend. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon right here was given to me by a community member, and I have to give him a big shout out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, every single week, I'm asking you guys in the community if you guys to hook up a Pokemon to give away for the contest. And I was missing Palkia, so I did need a Palkia for today's giveaway. And that was from Robert. So I need to give a big shout out to Robert, aka RJ. So thank you very much, dude, for donating this Pokemon for this current week's Win It Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. And we have another surprise for the week that you guys didn't know if you weren't watching the video before. We have a second place runner-up prize. So ladies and gentlemen, this is coming from Mr. Minecraft. He asked me to bring back first, second, and third place. But I'm just going to start off with second place. So in second place, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't win the first prize, you're going to get yourself a shiny Ego Slash. And this Ego Slash was given to me once again by another Poke Fanatic community member by Santiago. So shout out to you, Santiago, for donating this Pokemon to give away to the community members. That's why I love all you guys out there. You guys love donating stuff to give away as contest prizes for other people. So you guys are absolutely great. So if you come in second place in this week's Winning Wednesday, you could get yourself this shiny Ego Slash right here. But the big main prizes are all three, well, the darker ride rises basic Pokemon. All right, guys. But I know you guys want to find out who won last week when it wins if all these awesome Pokemon right here V Create, Rattini, Manaphy, and that Guadawar from Nerdy Skitter. And the winner is Bam. It is Michael. Michael had it won, ladies and gentlemen. I always say, if you could give more details, do give more detail on his idea for the next Pokemon game. And the name of the Pokemon game, to be specific, was absolutely excellent. It was very simple. Pokemon Isle. I'm probably saying it incorrect, but I just like it. I personally like it, and I like his idea that the next plot of the Pokemon game should be a post-apocalyptic world where Pokemon like Genesec and Mewtwo that were experimented on by humans basically rebel and destroy all technology on Earth. So now... We have gone back to where Pokemon and humans live without technology and now Pokemon come out of hiding that been like hiding away for centuries because they were afraid of technology. This sounds like this could be one of the most intense and crazy Pokemon games ever. I would actually love to see something like this on a console, maybe not even like a normal 3DS game version of Pokemon. But here is the big quest that we have for this week's Win It Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. What are the rules? And this is something new I'm going to do for Win It Wednesday. I'm going to actually incorporate last week's person's answer into the forward Win It Wednesday question. So, Michael, here's your extra shout out right here on top of the Pokemon you're going to get traded. I've added you on my 3DS and I will be able to trade you at any time you like.
Bam, here are the rules. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, just like every single week, if you enjoy my videos, if you like what I do, subscribe and go ahead and give this video a like. Number two, here is a big shout out to you, Michael, for winning last week, winning Wednesday. You wanted a post-apocalypse world Pokemon game. Well, now it's everybody's in the comment section's turn to help in making that, well, a dream kind of more of a possibility. Everybody, in the comment section below, what would you call a villainous team in a post-apocalyptic Pokemon world? So what do I mean by that, ladies and gentlemen? Right now, there's Team Flare, there's Team Rocket, there's Team Magnet, there's Team Galactic. Every Pokemon game has a team that are the enemies. What would be a fitting team for a post-apocalyptic world for Pokemon where technology doesn't exist? Or not that, all right, I should actually rephrase this. The way I'm thinking about this, guys, technology is destroyed. Not that it doesn't exist, it just is destroyed. Who says people can't re rebuild it or are not trying to rebuild it? So what would you call that villainous team in a Pokemon that takes place in a post-apocalypse setting? If you don't know what post-apocalypse means, please look it up. It basically means after everything goes really bad. <laughs> And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, leave your friend code and your in-game name and add me in the 3DS, and hopefully you could win all these Pokemons. If you don't come in first place, ladies and gentlemen, do remember you do still have a chance of winning that Aegis Slash, so go ahead and leave your comment in the comment section below. Please feel free to just pick a team name, or if you like, put in extra details. As always, extra details are welcome. Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show. Thank you for watching, and see you next week, Wednesday.